big question I get from a lot of people is what can I do to protect myself from coronavirus, especially this time of the year? You have to remember, coronavirus is a virus similar to the kind of things that give us the cold or give us the flu. So you want to protect yourself much like you would do with those. Really not a whole lot of difference. Number one and most importantly is wash your hands many times during the day, especially if you're out and about, especially if you're touching a lot of objects or you're in public areas. Wash your hands for 20 seconds at a time with soap and water. That's the best way you can clean them. If you don't have access to soap and water, the other thing you can use is alcohol-based hand sanitizers. But make sure they're at least 60% alcohol. That's the key to killing that virus. The other important fact is to remember, don't touch your hands to your face until you've washed your hands or cleaned them with that alcohol-based hand sanitizer because that's how the virus gets in through our eyes, our nose, or our mouth. Again, especially if you're in public areas. If you are sick, make sure you stay home so you don't spread the sickness to any other people. If you're out and about, again, washing your hands is extremely important, but so too is covering up when you cough and sneeze so it's not spreading to others as well. If you are taking care of someone that's sick, you need to ramp that up even a little bit more and make sure that you really protect yourself as best you can. And that might mean, depending on what they're sick with, incorporating face masks and gloves, depending on how sick they are and if they've been diagnosed with something like coronavirus. But overall, the biggest question I get today is, should I be using a mask? The CDC has answered that question many, many times. Masks are not recommended for the general public at this point for a couple of reasons. Number one, coronavirus is being very well contained here in the U.S. It's very isolated, has not gotten to community spreading yet, so we don't really need the masks, which can be cumbersome. Number two, most of us don't use those masks appropriately because they were actually made to keep somebody sick from spreading it to other people, not the other way around. And the masks, the N95 mask, which is one that could be recommended for this and could help a little bit, is really hard to fit and will protect you from some of it, but for some people it might actually give them a false sense of security. So going over it again, washing your hands, using alcohol-based hand sanitizer, avoiding sick people when possible. And another thing is shaking hands this time of the year. Go for the fist bump instead of the handshake. That could certainly help out as well, meaning you won't have to wash your hands quite as often. But you need to remember again that right now we're hearing a lot of news about the coronavirus, which is getting a lot of people very nervous about it. And what I'm telling most people is this is not a time to panic. This is not a time to overly worry or get anxious about it. But this is simply a time to keep informed. Here in the U.S., we really haven't seen those outbreaks as very well contained. And hopefully it continues to stay that way. And we can all do our part to make sure that happens.